Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never wanna leave my home. Stay in the sheets, sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Use Lancon, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack cheddar. Hey, 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 uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got this. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Yo, had to karate chop this motherfucker in today. Y'all fucking with my, I got the bird nest look today, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my bird nest shit. Welcome back to another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I am Lord Shoe X, a polymath based out of Georgia. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out. I got no books for sale at 1111. On the tab that's on my website. Everything on Tefnet Archive is 50% off, okay? If you're watching this from outside of Twitch, you should subscribe by making a Twitch channel, turning on the notifications, so when I do get online, you know where the fuck I'm at. Shit. I think that's everything. <laughs> What's good, though, y'all? I'm back in this bitch. Instead of looking like a fucking fruit roll up today, today I look like a backwood. It's just, it gets worse and worse. I'm on my backwood shit today. Look at that, backwood, backwood X. That's what the fuck I should change my name to, backwood Lord X. All right, let me let me fix this, this bird in that situation. <laughs> All right, now I look like a fucking bird's nest. I mean, it didn't look that bad, though, right? Fuck it. Oh, shit. Hold up. So, y'all know Lord Shoe X. You watch another episode of Lord Perfected Work. Where we talk about relevant things in society. Also, we have a segment on here called Shoe Live, where I make music live. And I'm also a musician. And currently, the music you are listening to right now is produced by me and there's the link to it in the chat the tape you're listening to is called instrumentals volume four that means there was three other previous volumes to this shit volume four it's a lot of damn volumes and i and i have a whole nother volume that i'm sitting on from shoe live instrumentals that i made i think here let's look at the exact number of beats i made on shoe live y'all Y'all not gonna be able to see it, but I'll know. All right, so right now, I'm on beat 20. That means so far there has been at least 14 to 15 shoe lives that we've done. So that means if you've been missing out on shoe live, I'm sorry, but you should go ahead and subscribe tier three so that you can know when I do shoe live. And if you subscribe tier three, I will give you my album for free and I'll give you the book that I wrote for free because I do a lot of different shit. 
I have too much stuff in here. And I'll go crazy if I leave it in there. Real shit. I will lose my motherfucking mind. Okay? Shout out to Tefnit today. Uh, I spoke to her on the phone for a minute, yo. I think like a good two to three hours. And, you know, just catching up on life and shit like that. Even though I promote Tefnit Archive pretty much every episode of Shoe Live. This means nothing to me, okay? I'll do what I have to do for for her. Because that's my nigga. Same thing with 1111. I get on here and I promote these real people. Because every day, y'all are going to Walmart and buy some shit from people y'all never even heard of that probably don't even fucking like your motherfucking ass. At least I know Tefni got a big heart. 1111 got a big heart. I sure as fuck have a big heart. I come on here every day at fucking six o'clock, just about shit. Every day for damn near two months, I've been coming on this shit. So show the love, man. Show love back and support real artists. Support real people who doing their motherfucking thing every day and creating. So today's stream is called Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Uh, have y'all ever seen that movie with Martin Lawrence? Where he, uh, he does some fucked up shit to a lady. And pretty much he ends up going on a mission to ruin his motherfucking life. Yeah. It's a thin line between you love and hate for sure. That's what... That's what being aware, honestly, being aware will help you in a lot of shit. Being aware will keep you from fucking doing dumb shit. Well, to an extent. Because sometimes dumb shit actually just has to be, it just has to happen. I mean, we're not perfect people, this is for sure. You know, everybody has this concept of what perfection is and... All of this good shit, but let's just keep it funky, y'all. We we should not try and strive towards that type of way of living because you drive yourself fucking crazy. I mean, I, I'll be a living testament to that and let y'all know that I've spent most of my life trying to perfect the things that I do as far as my real passion, which is my hobby. My hobby is uh, studying everything motherfucking thing you could possibly study and connecting it all together that is that is my gift and well not my eh, fuck it it's my gift in life but not only is it my gift in life but it is my hobby everybody thinks that music is my hobby no music is my career i make music because i love to make music and it helps people out and that is my service to the world is to make music i write books because I love writing books and it is my service to the world to offer people all of this information I study. Why wouldn't I compile it into, you know, small notebooks that people can read in a day? Like y'all notice that book, people be writing these books, these long ass books to reiterate a point that uh, pretty much we all already know. And it just goes on and on and on forever about the same shit. There's not that many details in the motherfucking world, dude. But hey, I get it. You know, you got to write your story. You got to write your book and you got to spread your information and shit. So it is what it is. You know, it's not it's not easy. But at least we all know that certain shit just is what it is. And it takes one to understand where they coming from to really dive into something somebody else someone else's perspective of a certain way of shit because that's how people are gonna see it anyways they're not gonna see it as the truth because to them their truth is their ego tells them that their truth is more important than than another person's truth so it just is what it is especially if they don't live out even their own truth they'll be quick to dive dive in and be like yeah you you on some bullshit because they not they don't understand themselves. They'll go out of their way to let you know that. Which moments like that you just have to like sit back and just be like, nah, bitch. 
<laughs> this is the facts, okay? Like, you, you just really have to just... You just gotta be up front when you just gotta be real with man. Because people just... They're gonna be like, what? What the fuck? What are you talking about? But, nah, you can't let shit slide. If you're gonna say something, you gotta stand firm in that shit. Straight up. And you gotta let people know what point you're trying to make. What point you're coming across it. Because it's a thin line between love and hate. All it takes is, is one thing for a motherfucker to not like you no more. Or really for a motherfucker to hate you. People hate so easily, man. It's, it's kind of ridiculous how easy people can start hating people. Because something didn't go their way or whatever the fuck. They just instantly like, I fucking hate this guy. Like, damn. That's how you feel? I didn't got my fucking soul ripped out before and I didn't hate that person. You know, I might have felt some type of way about the shit. Like, damn. We done went through all this together, and this is what it, this is what all this shit is equating to. I go through that shit on a fucking regular basis, man. You just go through shit with people. It shouldn't, it shouldn't dictate how things go, though. It should never be a dictate fact, a dictating, dictating factor. In what in what goes on, with your personal self, because at that point you just basically. Lost in the sauce of all the shit that's just going on around you. But, hey. It is what it is. People people gonna just be lost in shit. And they'll blame you for their problems. Or they'll, they'll find something to blame. They always do. They always find something to blame shit on. So, at the end of the day, all you can really do is just be happy with the shit that's, that's already existing. And, get, and has been given to you. You know, you can't be sad. You have to express gratitude and know that everything's going to be all right for real. Because no matter what, everything as it's supposed to be. If it was supposed to be any other way, you would be experiencing that. And it takes you having to go through that shit and realizing that shit is not real. Because everybody can come out on top. Every situation is different, but everybody can come out on top. No matter what. I know, I know sometimes life can be a little tough though. You know what I'm saying? Because you really just want shit to be exactly how you want it to be. But I say never give up, y'all. Just like I never give up on y'all in this channel, never give up, y'all. It's so much life to be lived. It's so much love to be expressed. And you just gotta find your way of expressing it without. Just express your love with healthy boundaries, man. Cause it's a thin line between love and hate Which you might one day wake up and be like I can't fucking stand this motherfucker man Why do I like this bitch <laughs> it's, it's even more of a day For you to work on yourself And for you to feel, You know go into that thought Like why am I thinking this Why do I feel this way Cause all it is is just something that's passing through you That you don't even 100% understand Why you even feeling or thinking this shit and it's when you act on shit like that That you end up doing some shit you regret every time See, people don't have self-control, man Because they be so quick They be so ready to throw love in the trash For instant gratification Or they be willing to throw They be willing to throw the really shit That they might experience in the trash Over instant gratification See, people can teach you all day, every day About some shit But if you yourself Do not take Take it upon yourself to figure out what it is that exactly that you're willing to, that. Okay, first you, you uh, okay. I have my reality now. This is what, this is what I am aspiring to do in this life. Okay, now that you know that, you got to do it. And you got to stay on that motherfucking path, man. See, right now, the moon card is the, the queen of wands and the moon card is the card that came up. You got to stand out. But you gotta walk this path alone. And there's the only light that you got. If you the queen of wands, that means you holding the torch already. That means you're holding the torch and your energy and your feminine energy. You walk in this dark path, only lit by the moon, by yourself. And you don't know what the fuck is ahead. It's fucking pitch dark all around you. Only thing lighting up the way is the moon, man. What the fuck do you think is gonna happen? See, that's exactly what's going to happen. What you think is going to happen. So make sure that you're not motherfucking thinking that you surrender into the process. And whatever is, is what it is. Because your life is what it is. 
the things that you do and the decisions you make, you could make the perfect decisions and still not have the same exact. You, everybody be doing the same shit, but don't have the same results. You can't focus on that shit, man. You really can't. You can't focus on nothing but what's on this path. And honestly, if you if you walk in a moonlit path and, and all this illuminating the way is the moon and your torch, that's not a lot of light. You basically walking and all you can do is hope that you in the right direction and that you're being guided along the way. But it takes faith. It takes faith and consistency of just, just keep going. We don't know what's coming after this. We don't know. I can see maybe four feet in front of me, man. But after that, it's pitch black. You don't know what's coming next. That's what this whole fucking life is about. And the, and that's the fun part about it. It's exciting. It's fucking exhilarating to not know what's happening next. It's when you want to control shit that you start feeling like shit. You don't have to control anything. There's already predestined path for you. If you're meant to die, your motherfucking ass is dying, okay? Okay. But you'll never know unless you take all the fucking possible risks that you can take in your life. You'll never know unless you do it. Right? That's really what life is about. It's seeing what you are capable of. All the shit that you're afraid of, it's time to start exper experiencing that shit and experiment with that shit. That's why I be telling, I be saying women are probably the coldest motherfuckers in the world, man. And I mean that in a good way. Like, y'all cold as shit. Y'all the shit. Y'all will literally get in a million fucking relationships. One week, I I got a homegirl be on Facebook. Every goddamn two weeks, she got a new fucking nigga she talking to, man. She want to experience love that bad, or she just in love with the dick. Either way, I don't fucking care. I just know that you are fucking fearless as shit to get screwed over that many times by that many niggas. And still be like, oh, I believe in love. You got to be a, a G'd up ass nigga to do some shit like that. Because to experience heartbreak a million motherfucking times. Nigga, I experienced it once and I made sure I never experienced that shit again. Bitch, I'll kill you. You know what? I ain't even worried about it. You you go do what you want. I'm going to stay over here where, it's, where I'm cool, man. Because I know niggas is only person you can trust 100% is yourself, man. People be ready to switch up instantly, bro. <laughs> well, he didn't buy me no motherfucking flowers. I'm gonna go suck this nigga's dick. Like, what the fuck? You gotta be a G'd up motherfucker to do some shit like that, man. To not be afraid, bro. That's what everything is based in fear. People be so afraid that they just really they be willingly ready to throw their whole motherfucking existence in the fucking toilet, bro. Just just to see if if maybe what they wishing and hope for will come true. And if it don't, they be cool with that. It be crazy, man. That is that is some hard shit. To me, that is some that is some hard ass shit. Rest assured though, you'll never you you can you can never say that People don't take a chance in the world. They might not take a chance being an entrepreneur like you, or they might not be taking a chance to fucking, I don't know, live out their dreams, but they taking a chance on something that they believe in. I respect that that person any day. You standing on your morals, you standing on shit that you believe in, hey, more power to you, my G. Because a lot of people can't do that shit. Real talk. A lot of people be ready to give up and throw it all away. But I'm telling you, if, if anybody's making you feel like what you're doing, like love and shit like that is not, that's not, that's not something that you want to engage in and be a part of. Just follow yourself. Listen to yourself. Like, I know it's a thin line between love and hate. I know, man. But at the end of the day. Take your chances with everything that you believe in, even if it's love. Because don't let these niggas tell you love ain't real. That's why we in the motherfucking position that we in now. Because people like, oh, love ain't real. This is motherfucking bullshit. She, one minute she sucking this nigga dick, now she sucking, man, you better enjoy that head for the moment being shit. 
Niggas find anything to complain about. Shit. Man, that was my that was my thought goddess, man. All right, bro. Well, obviously, you didn't do a good job keeping your thought goddess because now she over there being somebody else's thought goddess, man. She over there being somebody else's throat goddess, man. And and I know it hurts, player. But that's because you thought you had it, but you got to understand you can never have nobody. Until y'all fucking stand up under the fucking the moons and the stars and the trees and the sun. Y'all say... Y'all be like, I give myself to this shit, man. All this shit temporary. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. All this shit temporary. Hell, even that shit temporary. You might as well stay single anyways. Stay to your motherfucking self anyways. Because they always going to do some shit that's either going to piss you off or annoy the fuck out of you. Hey, what's up, boy? Thought, welcome back, homie. What's good, homie? My dog in this bitch. Hey, man. I'm just on here uh, talking about how it's a thin line between love and hate because people be so scared to take a chance and and just be cool with how shit turn out. But, you know, instead of surrendering to the process, they be wanting to control shit and then be mad when the shit turns sour and they be like, man, that bitch ripped my heart out, bro. Like, come on, man. Go make an album about the shit, man. Express your feelings in that album so you can, you can be over that shit. Like, get it all out, man. <laughs> Write a poem or something, man. God damn. Same thing with, with females. They be ready to fucking throw their goddamn soul away. Yeah, bro. And I was just saying, I was like, bro, your, your throat goddess is being somebody else's throat goddess. And now you sad. You over here fucking. You the got, you, you got the Remy. You, you done got perked up. You fucking zanny down. Perked up, zanny down. Drink, drink on smash. Like, oh. My throat goddess is gone, man. What I'm going to do? I was like, boy, you better enjoy that head for the moment. Shit. She might she might really be gone tomorrow, nigga. You're going to be sad as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> My dick dry. Okay? <laughs> I, try, I try to tell you, play. Shit. Don't, don't, don't hold on too tight, y'all. The best thing you can do is let people live their motherfucking life. <laughs> Cause you gonna be fucking holding your meat, looking at that shit like I need some lotion. Let it just let that let the birdies fly away, bro. Okay, don't do that to yourself, bro. We watching you. We 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 rooting for you, dog. <laughs> I believe in you, dog. We rooting for you. I don't want to see you in pain, shit. Nobody does. Hell, it hurt. It hurts when you holding on so tight that like. Your throat goddess be like, you know, I'm not really feeling this no more. I found a new bone to lick. Your bone ain't boning like it used to. <laughs> it's not it's not doing it for me. Hell, you you might be like, man, I don't know, man. I used to like eating you out. I used to like licking your booty hole, but now it's just like, I don't know anymore, man. It's just things change. You know, that taco season and don't hit like it used to. Shit, shit ends how it ends, man. Why you, what I, what, what, what be killing me about this shit is how people be like, <laughs> what be killing me is like, yo, how is it that y'all, y'all be so, y'all be so unaware of the shit around you so much that you are willing to throw your lives away for like five seconds of instant gratification. Look, I love y'all, man. I love y'all. But the people the people that don't watch it... Okay, so if you're watching this chat, y'all already know it's good. But I have to make these lives so that the people who are watching this from the outside understand where I'm coming from. Like, y'all cannot... Y'all cannot be on this instant gratification shit. My homegirl tried to convince me that she was on the shit. I'm like, no, Tefnet. This is not, this is not you. These aren't your thoughts, Tefnet. You just saying this because you being funny. She had to be funny because she do a lot. She does a lot of great things. I just think sometimes that she feels like it might not be enough. But y'all have y'all. If y'all got friends that feel like this, y'all have to really y'all gotta let them know. Hey, you doing good? Don't let nobody judge you. Don't judge yourself. I love you. Everything is cool. Everything is going to be straight. Because I know instant gratification is like 
it's out there and it's, it's just waiting for a hundred Instagram likes and I'm gonna show my titties. Like, bruh, it's it's right around the corner, bro. You don't have to you don't have to do that shit, okay? Like, you don't have to do that shit. One hundred Instagram likes and I'm and I'm a private message everybody my dick. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't have to come to that. Y'all I mean if y'all wanna do that, that's cool, man. I ain't gonna stop you. But god damn <laughs> like you have you have a choice of how you want the world to react to the shit that you're doing and creating and expressing, okay? So if that's how you want it to go, you know, more power to you. But on some real shit, like, come on, man. Come on, bruh. It's a thin line between love and hate, man. What side of the line you want? That shit, the line, so the line is a fucking needle thread. A fishing line, goddammit. Every day, man, you 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 wake up and you given the option to motherfucking try again, and you given a chance to just keep taking a risk. Like, take a risk on love. If you are gonna take a risk on anything, take a risk on believing that you can change the world by just simply being that vibration and putting your heart and soul and your will into that shit, man. The single point. Look, all this distraction, illusion shits around you. That's the single point. Look, it's just clouds inside of the circle, man, with the little point in the middle. It's just clouds, and you just, like, not even the point. You're just looking at the cloud in the circle with the point. You're like, God damn. Why? Why? Well, what is this cloud? You don't even know what the clouds is. You don't even know what this shit is. You don't even, you just, you're told, and you're born in this world, and you're told this is this, and this is that, and that is that, and this is this. Like, what the fuck do you think this shit is? If you got, if you never got told what the fuck certain shit was, man, what do you think it is? I literally made up a word a few days ago, man. I made up my own words a few days ago, man. Bet, send that shit to me, Void Thought. I need some, some shit to read. I've been reading uh, the Voynich Manuscript. Here, I put it in the chat so everybody can see it. And I've also been studying about Prester John. Ah, oh, hell yeah. My dog be hopping in this bitch and be dropping straight bombs on me. University of Dissertation, Spiritual Praxis, and Sarvast. Okay, bet. Let's see, how many pages? 401 pages? Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So, if y'all want that book that Void Thought just sent me, because it looks like a fine piece of reading material, y'all know what my Instagram is, Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. Y'all know what my Facebook is, Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. I'm also on Facebook as Lord Shoe and also as Lord Shoe X, spelled like a Canadian. So, I'm going to let you figure that out. Um,. And the X is spelled out E-C-K-S because you know how Facebook is. You can't just put one letter as your last name. Hey, nasty bitches. If y'all want that fine piece of reading material, hop your ass in them DMs, man, and I got you. But yeah, love. What is love? What do y'all think love is? What do y'all feel love is? What do y'all want it to be? Let's be honest with you. Love ain't shit. <laughs> Keep it real with you. Love ain't anything. <laughs> yeah. Find your boy. Canada. <laughs> Canada. Canada is... I've never been to Canada, but all my friends, when I lived in Germany, they were from Canada. And they used to always bring me back Tim Hortons. And in 2019, I finally went to New York, right? And I went to fucking, the first fucking place I went to was Tim Hortons, cause I went to uh, Buffalo, New York, which is maybe about 15 minutes from uh, Niagara Falls, the city, which is where Niagara Falls is. And Canada is literally like across the water. So, I was like, 
bitch, I'm getting some motherfucking Tim Hortons. Y'all, them donut holes. Oh my god, bro. I remember eating them as a kid. So being an adult eating them hoes. That shit, you know, it's like a, it like t- it touches a weird part of you that you, you can't really touch with the body. Like it just it touched some weird. It's like the the dick version of your soul. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> it touched that shit, and I was like, God damn, this was good. They could have kept that coffee though. They can keep that coffee. But I do not like coffee. And I used to drink coffee from uh, Starbucks. The Brazilian, they used to have this Brazilian blend or some shit like that. And I like coffee with no sugar and no creamer. I just drink it straight black. Boy. I used to drink espresso like that too when I worked at Olive Garden as a line cook and a busser. Because all I used to do was party and bullshit and party. And bullshit. So I wake up in the morning like, yo, I need, yo, we used to, I used to pay for a, a shot of gin on my fucking lunch break. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, caffeine is over with. I'm done with that shit for life. I used to buy them shots of gin, that Bombay. On my lunch break, I drink motherfucking two shots of espresso because that's when I start like, okay, I'm getting the weed wearing off and I'm motherfucking drink. From the night before, starting to kick my ass. I need some coffee, and I need another shot to 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 bite the fucking beast that took me down. So, yeah, man, I don't, I really don't know how I'm here, y'all. I did this shit for a good three years, just back to back. Oh nah, nah, I'm actually not in Canada. I'm in uh United States of America, but I'm, I ain't gonna say unfortunately this is my home, but. Nah, I just spelled, uh, I spelled Lord the Canadian way because I think Facebook forced me to do it. <laughs> so I just did it. Or I seen, I might have seen the Canadian version of the word Lord and I was like, I'm going to just spell it like this. But yeah, I know, man. Canada actually is, is cool from what all the Canadian homies told me. Because whenever, like, uh, holidays would come around, they will always go back to Canada. And we'll come back after Christmas. Ooh, for real? I know uh, they just made uh, one-ups legal in Los Angeles. Or in Cali, I think, all together. Or the West Coast in general, I believe they made one-ups legal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just recently they did this like maybe some months ago this year it had to be this year though that um bro what's crazy yeah 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 Oregon is man trying to tell you bro hey if y'all ain't had no stop look I seen this video I just got on TikTok y'all so don't judge me because I I motherfucking hate TikTok but I'm on there because I want to spread more knowledge from every Every fucking avenue I have to spread knowledge, I'm going to get on that shit and do it. And I'm only doing this because I fuck with y'all for real, for real. You know, I be studying a lot of shit and I just have to get it out because if the, the way that I'm thinking, it might spark that shit in somebody else who might actually can do something with that information. So I just, I, I fucking sucked it up. And at first I was using a decoy account that my, uh, my girl made. <laughs> so I'll be like, on other people's, I be like, I be liking other people's shit, and they be seeing a picture of my girl, and they be like, "Yo, what's good, man?" I'm like, "I'm a nigga, <laughs> I got a dick." <laughs> nah, ain't nobody came and be like that yet, for real, for real. But, yo, it's bound to happen. <laughs> I'm just waiting on it, so I can be like, "Oh yeah, yeah, meet me at meet me at uh, Burger King and fucking." Las Vegas or some wild shit. Fucking with people be fun, man. Cause like you shouldn't be in nobody DMs trying to holler, anyways. Like, let my girl tell it. That's what I did. Damn, I was about to pronounce it, but I don't want to butcher that shit. Hen Henyana. Did I even pronounce that shit right? Henyana or Henyana? Hainyana. Like Heine, 
<laughs> What's good, Heine? Que pasa, Heine? I'm about to Google it. Fuck that. Google. Google, bitch. You got it one of times or two. That's what the phrase means. You got it one of times or two. Hang, 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 I mean, you said it right a few times. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Bet. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah, man, phonics is interesting to me, too. So whenever I see words, I always like to play around with the pronunciation of it. So you saying that, that kind of like, I don't know, it's like uh, Tourette's or something. It just It's like a feel-good chemicals released in my brain. <laughs> I was watching these people on TikTok that have Tourette's. And, like, they were, uh, the girl was like... Uh, so me and so and so been around each other and we've been triggering our ticks. So she was just talking and in the middle she's like, Jesus fucks virgins. And then the other dude that has Tourette's was like behind her and he looked like he was trying so hard not to fucking like tick. And then he was like, So his mother? And then he was just like, Oh my god, why did I say that? I'm like, yo, Tourette people are lit, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So red people are hard. And like this, this girl is really nice though. Cause like she was like out in public and these people were saying like racist shit to her. And was just like trying to get her to tick or whatever. And now she's like ticking. She's making all these like cute ass animal sounds like meow. Woof. <laughs> like, and she was like, I hope y'all are fucking happy, but I don't want nothing but peace for y'all. I'm like, bro, it's crazy how people with, like, actual, like, problems fucking are the nicest people. All right, y'all. So, we about to dig into this Hanyana. A Sanskrit term literally meaning the small, deficient vehicle. Classical Chinese and Tibetan teachers translate it as smaller vehicle. The term was applied to the Sravakanya or Sravakanyana Yana Sravakanyana Yana the Buddhist path followed by a Sravaka who wished to become an Arhat. The term appeared around the first or second century. Damn, that's a long ass time ago. Mahayana, Mahayana. Okay. Ooh. All right. Hey, y'all. Void thought dropping bombs right now. So if you're watching this live, it's time to go deep. But we ain't gonna go super deep. Oh man. Well, I'll say this. As far as enlightenment goes, I actually am. I'm probably the same. Hanyana. I don't care about getting people to their enlightenment like that. I mean, I just give the information that I find and put it out there so that people can receive it and do what the fuck they want with it. But as far as like intentionally like creating shit for people to get to their enlightenment, I don't I don't fuck with none of that shit. Real talk. Like I just I just have little quirky shit come in my head sometimes, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna just put this out here, you know, throw it at the wall, see what sticks. But for real, for real, I'm I'm always on some self shit, bro. For real, for real. I'm just glad that people even fucking get on here and just even want to fuck with me on this channel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you in here, we up in here having real like talks about real shit, so. But that's the thing, though. You and I, we we kind of have like similar way of going about things as far as information. We'll throw some shit at each other, 
and see if we fucking with it. Like right now, you telling me about this and we studying this shit. Well, you probably studied it way longer than I have, but personal liberation. So like finding your enlightenment on your own so that once you find that shit, you know, that's it. Or finding your enlightenment and then as you as you're moving through that life, people seeing you and then they get inspired. Like that's pretty much what I'm on. Like I'm moving my way. Like I'm on here right now, just being my quirky normal self, just talking about shit, just whatever, whatever shit that I find. And I just put it out there so that other people be like, Hmm, you know, I never thought about it like that or whatever, whatever. But you might be right. I might be on that. My, Yana. because I do, I do, Put shit out there so that people can find the information. If I really didn't give a fuck about getting all this information out of my own head, because that's really the the main reason why I do it. I actually said it at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> I got too much shit inside of my head, man. And like I study a lot of different shit just because that's my passion is to just to study everything and try to make it connect. If if on, on any type of subject I just always try to Bring the connection of shit together So You probably right bro Alone including revelations You get while on the path Okay bet So then yeah I probably am on my Ayana Cause I be sharing I do share my revelations with people And like even like People be like what What the fuck bro I don't even be giving a fuck. They be like, try, sometimes people even try to judge me when I do that shit, but I just be like, bro, I don't give a fuck. If it don't feel right for me not to share it, even if it's just like the smallest shit, bro. Like, it just feels wrong for me not to share it. So, yeah, I might be... Let's let's find out, because Hay Hayana, small vehicle, a pejorative name given by fathers of Mayana Buddhism to the more conservative schools of early Buddhism. The tradition died out out in India, but it survived in Sri Lanka as the Theravada school and was taken from there to other regions of Southeast Asia. What is the difference between Hinayana and Mahayana? Mahayana. The Hayana sect, meaning small vehicle and Sanders, did not believe in the divinity of the Buddha. Difference between Mayana and Hinayana. Alright, and this is just the Google search, y'all. You know, I don't really fuck with Google like that. So your boy thought he... he the book he just sent me lets me know that he, he knows what the fuck he's talking about. But always do your research, folks, because it's funner. <laughs> it's Or it's more fun. <laughs> you can never... Can never uh, find out too much information. Believe in the divinity of Buddha and encourage idol worship in Buddha. Okay, so I don't believe in idol worship, so. Okay, maybe I'm not Mayana. <laughs> I don't believe in worshiping any idols. I believe in the one true God and that we should all give, give and receive that energy. It's stressed on individual salvation through self-discipline and meditation. So I'm like a retarded Hinayana. <laughs> yeah, they believe all is the Buddha. Okay, yeah, nah. I, I like organized religions and shit like that. That's when it gets spicy for me, bro. I'm like, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> but I fucks, I fucks with and one going towards their enlightenment. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Like, we're the theologians. We study all that shit. But I think, uh, I think theology deals mostly in organized religion, though. Like, the main ones of the world. So, so I don't, do you, okay, so let me ask you this, Void Thought. Do you think that, uh, like, spirituality is, like, study in when you go to, like, a theology course in a college? Do you think that they study like shamanism and shit like that? Or you think they only just study organized religions? 
Because I always wondered that because I ended up, I almost got close enough to pursuing a degree, like getting a doctorate in theology. But I just said, fuck college altogether because, nigga, I got books all around me. All I got to do is go to a library and study them. Huh? What the fuck? And the library free. You don't even, all you got to do is get a library card and you literally can get books all the motherfucking time. And then we got the internet. <laughs> it's like no point, bro. Oh shit, y'all, he about to drop bombs of the season. Because I'm always interested to hear other people's opinions and, and perspectives and shit. It just, I don't know, it fills me up with joy to know that people are aware of themselves. If y'all watching this from outside of Twitch, man, please make a Twitch account and subscribe. And, and, Friend your boy Voita and of course friend Lord Shuex. What the fuck? Oh yeah, facts. 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 Y'all seen what he said? You can learn it that way, but it becomes personal and most shy away from those kind of places after they learn enough to get there on their own. That's that's really what I be on this channel even talking about is get look, all I can do is just throw the shit out there, see see what happens. You know what I'm saying? So it can be, but once you learn, you drop out. Yeah. You get the info and you slide the fuck out. If you want that piece of paper so they can call you doctor or whatever the fuck. But you notice uh, every doctor ends up getting fucked over, killed. or it's, all, it's always some wild shit. Same thing with lawyers, politicians. They always... Having these titles, you always end up getting fucked over. Especially if you like the truth at what you're doing. Like, you can be a dirty motherfucking doctor. You can be a dirty... You know, have people taking all these whack-ass pills and shit. But then when you start to do real doctor work... <laughs> Niggas come up missing, bro. <laughs> they find your ass gutted like a fucking pig in the forest somewhere. Oh my god, he committed suicide. Who the fuck is you fooling? It's cool though. I already probably said too much. <laughs> Not that I give a fuck, but still. <laughs> Y'all can come gut me like a pig. I don't give a damn. Like, I'm at the point now where like. What I think is what is, so I already know that in my reality, this shit is not not so. It's too much peace in my reality. That's that's what I'm about spreading is peace and p and more peace <laughs> and, and hella peace. It's already enough, like he said. It's already enough dogma out here. Do we really need more? <laughs> Do we really need to? Spiritual dynamics, spiral dynamics. Sometimes it helps explain a lot of stuff about why things are the way they are. It's really interesting. Okay, y'all. So spiral dynamics is also something y'all should check out. Of course, every time homie get on here and tell me look up some shit and I ain't never heard about it. Is this a book or is this a? Okay, so this is an evolutionary development of individuals, organizations, and societies. It was initially developed by Don Edward Beck. Oh, I've seen this dude before. And Christopher Cowan, based on the emergent cyclical theory. Okay, so this is the main shit right here. Graves' emergent cyclical, le emergent cyclical theory, levels of existence, is a theory of adult human development constructed from experimental data. Okay, so they did an experiment and they have uh, they built a theory from it. There is, and there are lots of good books on YouTube. All right, y'all. So y'all, y'all got, y'all got plenty of homework to do today. You know, Void thought get on here, and I'll be already on my shit. So y'all know shit. I got the motherfucking homework. You got the motherfucking homework. The more we know, and the more we study, it lets us know that we don't know shit, but how we can improve ourselves, so that we can just keep absorbing knowledge. This shit never stops. So spiral dynamics combined with mem memetics, memetics, 
the study of information and culture based on an analogy with Dar Darwinian evolution. Y'all know who uh, Darwin is, right? Darwin, uh, y'all know who Darwin is. That's the guy who, uh, is, that's like the, the standard evolution theory that everybody no, learns in school that how shit came to be with animals and people and shit like that. Video on the first stage. Okay, bet. No, I'm fucking with it. See, spiral dynamics combined with memetics as proposed by Richard Dawkins and further developed by Mahali Sisla. Blah, blah. A later collaboration between Beck and Kent <laughs> Wilbur produced spiral dynamics integral. Several variations of spiral dynamics continue to exist both independently and incorporated into our or drawing on Wilbur Wilbur's integral theory, which is Ken Wilbur's attempt to place a wide diversity of theories and thinkers into one single framework. It is portrayed as a theory of everything trying to draw together an already existing number of separate paradigms into an inter Ooh, so this is kind of what the fuck I'm doing, but for fun. I don't. I don't want to be a scientist. <laughs> Not like a, a an official scientist. I have a whole book. I just call it Polymath Theories by Lord Shoe X. <laughs> it's really just notes of shit that comes into my head, a little funny shit, and I just write it down. And then I just, it's like me having ideas. I guess theories that connect shit together. It helps one understand reality. All right, y'all. So this is the homework today, man. Spiral dynamics. Courtesy of Void Thought. Always coming in here dropping the motherfucking bangers. As usual. Per usual. Shit never stopped. Got, got the whispers up. So I know after this stream over with, man. Because I know my girl probably knocked the fuck out. She like... <sighs> So, I'm going to motherfucking watch this shit. I'm going to probably eat some tacos. Y'all know I'm half Panamanian, so, you know, I love me some motherfucking tacos. Damn, man. This stream went by so fast, dude. Aw, oh, bruh. I know you're going to thank me every time, but you, you know I got love for you, brother. You always come in here with the great information. Pretty soon the channel's gonna end up just being a whole lot of fire ass information, man. And all you're doing is help making my shit better, to be honest with you. Just coming in here and giving people information. Hey, man, you breaking your code, bro. <laughs> you breaking your code, bro. No, I'm just fucking with you. I, I appreciate it. And I know people who watching this gonna fucking appreciate it too, man. <laughs> hey. Hey, bro, I, I love it, shit. I appreciate, yo, the fact that you in here and you a hermit, bro, you the realest hermit. <laughs> For real. We got the real motherfucking Master Roshi in this bitch, y'all. <laughs> right now, he got on the, uh, he got on the, the Fox mask. He Jackie Chun right now at the, at the fucking world tournament. Y'all ain't gonna know he, he Master Roshi until after he come out. Like, oh, shit. I'm just a turtle hermit, man. <laughs> I just only come out to the tournament to beat people up and go home. <laughs> hey, shout out to everybody though for real who watched this fucking stream today. Y'all watching it? Lord of Perfected Work with Lord Shoe X. I'm Polly Map based out of Georgia. Shout out to Void Thought for always dropping bombs in this motherfucker per usual for real. Keeping shit spicy in this bitch. It's a thin line between love and hate. What side of the fucking line you on? Because y'all know what me and Void thought on. Shit, we void of motherfucking... Hey, what? Huh? I don't even know what we talking about no more. <laughs> Stay safe, bro. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but y'all know what it is. Back in this bitch. I'm gonna miss y'all till tomorrow. Everybody stay cool. Stay calm. Stay collected. If y'all haven't been to the website, shoelovesrebels.com, y'all should definitely check it out. Always got some shit going on up there. 
I keep the Facebook updated with previous streams of these episodes. So every episode of Lord of Perfected Work is on my Facebook. And probably comment soon. It'll be some snippets on Instagram and TikTok as well. So don't trip. These fun moments that we having, best believe. Best believe I'm in this hoe. All right. This shit ain't gonna change. Y'all know I fuck with y'all. I do this shit for us, man. <laughs> Anyways, y'all keep it real. I'm out this bitch. I am out this bitch. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Bye, see you later.